Oh, uh, Jacob, what'd you get? Uh, I got a big purple thing. Oh, yeah? um, I'm really excited about it. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. It's gonna be real cool. I got that. Thank you. No problem, bro. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> what the f did we just do? <laughs> we did it. I am very pleased. Oh, yup. Uh oh. Well, did Jacob, what is going on here? That's Nurple, uh, 1971 Yamaha ET1. It's a two stroke. I mean, it doesn't really work, but I want it to work, and it was like $150. It's covered in boogers, but I think it's great. It's, I mean, it's sturdy, and it's not super rusty, but it's kind of rusty. It's missing a lot of parts that it kind of needs, and there's like, I mean, there's a super important oiler that's supposed to be in there, and it's just not there. And I mean, it's like horrible, but it's like great, and I hope it works, but it's not gonna work. Really? It's been seven months, and now we're gonna try and get it working. Okay. Night one of Jacob's purple nurple bike build. We're doing the electrical. Um, so we took a look at the Magneto and it looked okay. And then yesterday, uh, well last week, I was spinning around with it and we kicked it and I noticed that it might have been sparking maybe, so. Oh you did? Yeah. Well that's good. Yeah, Corey. So, uh, <laughs> this bike is, is a lot simpler than my S90 project, which you have not seen yet. Uh, there's no CDI, there's no dumbass computer to try to tell us what to do. Uh, we are the machine. So theoretically, this is in theory. Nothing has been... Oh, not a damn no, Nothing has been proven. But I think the way it works is that we got two wires that go into the coil, which goes into the spark plug, and then the switch is somewhere in between there. So, famous last words, but what could go wrong? I mean... I sent him a wiring diagram. There really shouldn't be a question. All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. All right, we're fixing the very mint, very minty exhaust here. From this angle, there are no flaws with it. Minus that's missing the heat shielding and the 125 logo and the patch right here. But from this angle, you can't see the patch, so it looks fantastic. What are you doing here, Jacob? Uh, I'm the camping. I'm a five Charlotte Alright, we look over here. This here is the spoke head. <laughs> and if we look over here, this here is a spinny do. And inside that there spinny do is some magnetrons. And then magnetrons output them spinny do forces into the electricity mechators out this here wire conditioner. Then you put that up there to the sparkulator. And it plugs in the sparkulator. And it goes down to that cable into and the sparkulator. And the sparkulator up into the spillator. And then with the help of the carbulator, it goes a boom, boom, boom. And that's it. back there. Uh, seeing if she's got spark. No. All right. All right. Try number two. Why it wasn't hooked up. Why it's not hooked up. Spark! I was right? Oh my god. Oh good. Alright, we're trying this, right? No, uh, yeah. We're trying this? Yeah. This is happening? Anyway. Jacob, before this starts, how are you feeling? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Alright, safety first! Kill switch? No, kill switch is on. That horrible sound is what it's supposed to sound like, to but Daniel. it does need to be in neutral because it's not moving enough. That would be neutral. That's neutral? And that's one? He's got five rock solid sprockets. That's a half click. There. So that's neutral? Yeah, that's solid. And the gear spins? No, it doesn't. 